Howdy, my friends. Michael Pomizano here. And one of my all-time favorite things to see is some old-school country respect from one generation to the generation that preceded it. In 2019, Casey Musgraves took the stage with Willie Nelson at the CMAs, and it was very clear immediately when I saw this for the first time that Willie was really, really struggling. What was also really clear is how much it meant to Casey that she could carry this and help him. And throughout the entire performance, not only do you see her admiration for him, but how much she really realizes how, how deep of a well of emotion this is for Willie to not be able to be the singer and the guitar player that everybody knows him to be, but to still reach out her hand and touch him and remind him where the different verses are and start singing before the bar line crosses over and really just makes this something that makes him feel so incredibly respected and comforted. Um, and he just finishes the performance with such an amazing kind of ode to uh, the res paying the respect back to her with the, just the perfect quote. If you haven't seen this, Again, this is Rainbow Connection 2019 from the CMAs with Casey Musgraves and Willie Nelson. Now, I will start and stop this a few times to point this out, uh, to point out little different things in here. But I want you to really pay attention to the close personal dynamic of the two and think about what it must mean for them being, what, 45, 50 years apart? I'm just guessing right now I'm ad-libbing. Um, just to know how much each of them mean to each other and realize what's happening in real time and just having the show go on. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? You notice he's not playing. He's looking for his chords. Rainbows or visions? Only illusions. And he keeps looking down Rainbows to his right for the teleprompter. So we've been told. Some choose to believe it. Cutting off his lines. I know they're wrong. Wait and see. Deep breath. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. He knows this line. The lovers, does it? the dreamers, and me. Now watch how confident he comes and reaches out and touches his arm. Who say that every wish Look at him breathe. heard an answer when wished on a morning star. Well, somebody thought of that. Look at him. Look at her, look at him. What it's done so far. Watch her take the jump. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think look at her. we might see? He's holding on to his elbow. Someday we'll, we'll find it. The rainbow connection. Look at that. The lovers, the dreamers, and the musicians in the crowd know what's going on. Did you see the tear? This part in particular, okay? So he starts it off. It's clear they must have known that he wasn't up to snuff, uh, you know, his normal self backstage, right? And But he still chooses to start it off. He's checking the teleprompter constantly. You can tell that he's feeling very vulnerable because you see when he feels confident for a second, he darts out into the audience and he knows that line. But then instantaneously, you can see when he, gets, when he loses that confidence and immediately looks to his crutch, to the teleprompter. And it's lines he's sung a thousand times probably. But this part, Casey comes out, she's taking it nice and easy, letting every note ring out so that he knows he doesn't have to jump in. He knows he has time to take 
to take a breath. And when, it, and when it's time for them to sing the chorus together, she jumps in early, leans towards him, touches his elbow, and, and, and in a gesture saying, you can do this. Even if you can get only one or two notes out, I'm going to carry it, and you can do this. Watch the body language. Stargazing and what do we think Watch we might see? You can do it. Pushed him to the mic. Someday we'll find it. Watch in his mouth. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers in me. And he gets it out. And he gets it out and look at that incredible smile that he gives to her he knows the gift she just gave to him and then immediately before it goes into the bridge she jumps early with her voice again to let her him know and to let the whole band know that she's got this and it's all for willie They know what they're seeing. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I've heard them call them my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. This is so, I hate to stop in here because it's so beautiful. I'm going to rewind a little bit. Watch Willie. Watch Willie. I don't know if he's supposed to finish the second part of that verse or if it was already uh, uh, planned for Casey to jump in there. But she takes it. And then you can see his decades upon decades of professionalism and muscle memory where you've, you've been drunk and you've been tired and you don't know what city you've been in, but the show must go on, right? Where you see him twitching, and he's not playing guitar, but you see him like he used to, right? You see his body language like he would go for, for the mic, like he used to, like he would do fills. But he knows enough to know to not do it, to let her carry it because she's made him feel comfortable. But he still can't not be Willie Nelson. It's an amazing subtlety to watch. Check it. My name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. Watch it. Watch his hands. I've heard it too. Guitar is not turned off. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers and me. It'll all be alright. Oh my god. He goes, just, we have to watch that last part again. You can see in an instant when he knows they've made it through and the relief and gratitude that comes through. And then for her to finish with the, we'll all be all right, for him to mouth, just beautiful. And just, and just show again his deep, deep gratitude. And for her to just give him the bow at the end, just the country respect, is just, there's so much bullshit out there okay in music and in life and so much posturing this this is what it's all about someday we'll find look he knows he's got it the right there connection the lovers the dreamers and me
I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Just, I'll just, I'll put a little bow on it at the end. Generations apart. One looking up to the other, and always have since they were a little girl. And the one knowing that they're not what they used to be, at least not on that night. And having one making the other one feel comfortable. My kids are trying to get into the door right now. There's four of them. They're screaming. This is how it goes. It's live. <laughs> but the, one, the other one trying to make the other one feel comfortable. And doing. And they're both doing the thing that you have to do as professionals, knowing that the show must go on. You see Willie purposefully not playing, but still going through the motions. You see him breathing quickly and shortening his lines, but not changing his distinct attack that makes him sound like Willie Nelson. You see her recognizing that she's got to carry over the bar line and start before and reach out and touch his arm and his elbow and make eye contact and follow his mouth and make sure that she makes him feel that there's never an empty space that he has to fill. Coolest shit ever. Love it. My friends, if you enjoyed the vibe of this channel, please hit subscribe. It lets me and YouTube know you'd like to see more. If anybody out there is a guitar player, you can support this channel by taking my lessons and courses by joining my community called GuitarGate. It's the first link in the description. And lastly, if you have any other moments of deep country respect or any genre, if you will, where somebody is helping someone else on stage, please drop in the comments. I'd love to see something I haven't seen before. I love you all. Cheers. Jack, I hear you, buddy.